Just do it. Hmm. Gravity is working on those signs. I had to change to bigger magnets, but then I thought I could hold them up. See those down there? I don't know, that kind of looks neat though. Maybe I'll leave it. Stuff happening everywhere. It's very early, and I'm very tired because it's I got here so early, which moved all my schedule up. So, it's 3.53 p.m. I know, it's the three hour, and I'm doing this. Can you believe it? Uh, current temperature is a bright and sunny 63 degrees. I had an 8 a.m. call. I didn't have to make it, but... I felt better about myself when I did make it. I have no idea how I got out of bed this morning, though. Oh, I should have had a second cup of coffee. I've only had one cup of coffee. I'm hoping this will help. It's funny because I've actually, over the course of my career, amassed a number of these five-hour deals, samples. Here's one I got in the mail from Works. They advertised on Adult Swim. But even though this is probably the perfect time to take one, they're still just going to sit right there and go unused. Do these things have expirations on them? I think these things would probably expire, right? Let's see. January 13, January 13, July 13. Uh, if that's an expiration date, I can't make it out. Works got their own setup. I don't know, what does that look like to you? I don't know. So actually, I have four of them. So this is like, what, eight bucks worth of product? These things are two bucks for a shot, right? I don't know what they go for now. Grape, grape, berry. Uh, and no flavor. Yeah. I don't know. I did kind of fall for the hype, and I have bought, on occasion, a can of NOS energy drink to be just like Kyle Busch, but NOS doesn't sponsor Kyle anymore. But I did get a kind of a taste for it. I guess it was kind of Red Bull tasty. The best description of Red Bull I ever read was from a sportscaster here in Minnesota. I've told you the story, haven't I? Maybe I haven't. He says, did you ever notice, and I finally figured it out, Red Bull tastes exactly like the inside of a Zotz. I was like, yes, that's exactly what it is. And of course, you have to be of a certain age to know what Zotz is, but... Those are pretty good. I wonder if they still make those. I bet some old-timey place who carries all those other old-timey candies everybody remembers has it. Uh, all right, so we got a, we got a game tonight. Got the Warriors, not looking good. Luke Ridner has uh, some sprain, some terrible, some terrible injury. So we have uh, uh, no point guards. Point guard, right? That was what they play? Can't remember. JJ Bram may come back, hopefully. If so, he's going to be leaned on heavily. Otherwise, it's Malcolm Lee and, uh, I guess, Wayne Ellington. Guys who can handle the ball, but who are really more uh, shooting guards instead of running the point. I don't actually know what any of that means, but I've heard that terminology before. Optimists are reminding us that Timberwolves are merely four and a half games out of the number eight slot in the playoffs. It ain't happening. There's there's no way they're going to make up four and a half games because they won't do better than 500, and they probably won't even get to 500. But no, it won't happen. But after tonight, uh, I think it's down to six games uh, left at the Target Center for us to go to. So kind of winding it down. 
and kind of ending with a whimper because with so many injuries. Hey, did you see that Kings game, though, where Ben Miller started, and he hit three threes, and we're like, man, that dude is awesome, and then came back to earth, and they ended up losing to the Kings by a bit. Yeah. Still, they're fun to watch. They're going to be fun to watch. The season's kind of a wash. I mean, they've done so much better than anyone expected already. Caleb won't get the MVP, but we'll talk about him. He certainly has the numbers, though. His stats are outrageous. But part of that is because he's had to carry the whole team on his back lately. And we'll probably have to do so tonight. And probably for the next week. So, circumstances. It'll be interesting to see if he falls off next year, how much he falls off next year. He may play just as well, but still not get the ungodly numbers. Which would probably be okay, because that means that other people will be able to step up and work. Kind of wonder if uh, Michael Beasley will be back, though. I reckon he won't. But that's uh, all down the road and something to worry about later. I don't think I have anything that I need to talk about by way of comments. Of course, I haven't checked anything today. I try not to do this stuff during work. Technically, I'm still on the clock, but I'm going to be uploading and doing some other work while it's uploading, so can't multitask very well. What's my password? Did you hear it? I just typed it. All right, checking the old YouTube inbox to see if anybody said anything. I do have a comment, and I haven't read it yet, so let's see. It's from Otto. He made it through the whole thing. He won't make it through this one. He hates my basketball talk. You know, it was the wrestling talk probably that got him in. He thought about stopping at 7 minutes, 45 seconds when I finished the Mania talk. Yeah, I see. I... I Anticipated what he was going to say before he even said it. Having said that, he won't get this far because I did too much basketball talk. And he stops after the basketball talk. Fortunately, you have endured the basketball talk. And now you're getting this sparkling bit of me drinking Diet Mountain Dew. Mm. It's 4 o'clock. Actually, I have one more call that I could get on. And I probably will. Thank you. That's the reminder. So I will wrap it up probably. Uh, I do want to say one more thing, though, which will probably take the last two minutes. I'm on draw something. I'm not immune to fads and addiction. So I, when I found out that there was a free version of draw something for Android, and I think I said this yesterday. So after I put Instagram on, I put draw something on, and then I put out a call on Facebook to get some suckers to play with me. And... I played all night, well, I don't know, two or three hours with uh, whoever was on. Bleep. James, who's, well, James might be what? Yeah, James watches. Dave, who does not watch. And Mark, who probably watches. But again, I want to thank you guys for putting up with my growing pains and what a horrible, horrible drawer I am. But I will probably get better or figure out what feels like cheating and what doesn't feel like cheating. Because some of you guys, when you use words and stuff, first of all, I can't seem to get that on my touch screen to work correctly, but you know, I didn't get Tina Fey because Dave did words and I, I didn't make the connection that he was talking about the star of what he was drawing rather than what he was drawing. Because 30 Rock just didn't fit in those letters. But Tina Fey would have, but I didn't think about it enough about that. If you wanted to play me on Draw Something, you'll have to wait till the Timberwolves game is over and I'm back home, but my username is CRZNet, because as a late adopter, all the good names were taken. I wonder who CRZ is. Should I try to start a game with them? See what they do? That's my time. Uh, happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. I hope that you're humping. And if not, there'll be another video after this one. Probably. Bye.